Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things. Hey, I hope all of you had a great President's Day. Yeah, I hope all of you were able to craft this weekend. I had a four-day weekend. Yes, I had a long weekend. I didn't do any great shopping or anything because, look, I sat here and I made these. Yes, this is what I did this weekend. And... I showed you all this one already and a few other ones that I made I actually put together because I showed you how to do it in the tip thing and then um, I had these on a stand but yeah I did quite a few of them I actually put them together this I'm gonna say is not totally decorated okay because it doesn't have bling on it and the reason I know this isn't totally finished is because I'm going to sit that there. I figured other ways to stand these up. And that's because once I started doing them. And you put all your bling and such on there. And I'll have to keep looking at this to see if it's totally finished too. What I did was I used a block. And I put this block on here. But I'm going to cover this block in lace. But I have to get this off the back first. I'm going to cover this in lace, this block in lace, and probably one of the laces that I have on here. I'll probably put a little more bling on it, and but this stands up like this. Wait, isn't that cute? And that says D for D special things, right? <laughs> and then, and, oops, it stands up. It, yeah, stands up very nicely. Oops, I'm sorry. Yeah, so the heavier you make them, you have to remember how you're going to stand them up. Um, so, this one I figured was going to be pretty heavy. So, here's this one. And it's not, none of these are finished. I figured I was making, I made all of them first. I used the color of the papers that I like. And... As you can see, it's not finished. I haven't finished decorating the little cup and putting the little bling and stuff around the edges and stuff. But I used one of the little cafe cups, uh, cup and saucers. Yeah. And the next time I'll probably do, I'll probably use a few more of these because I like that touch. And, um, yeah, I'll go ahead. That's one, one way I did it. The other ones I have not put any a base on them yet but this is another one that I made I haven't done the handles I completed the handles of any of them let me push that back just a little yeah but I had so much fun making these and I knew I only had well I started Friday and then worked on them um yes yeah, Saturday and then yesterday I had a off day so yeah it kind of didn't go the my day did not go the way I planned it so I just kind of um, looked through my stash and found different stuff that I could use and I did this one which is a blue one and then I did another pink one and I didn't like, I put this lace on here and it's elastic and I didn't like it. So I figured I'd leave it on there instead of throwing it out. And I figured this would be my front. Yeah, it doesn't have, I, I'm not finished this at all. But that's the lace that I used. And those little flowers and put some bling there. But I didn't like this because the color was kind of off so I'm thinking that I can put something in there to kind of hide that these colors are a better match so yeah once I finish I'll show you this but I'm showing you the ideas that I'm showing you the ones that I've done so far so maybe that would give you some ideas if you're just searching for ideas this is one that I started and I put I started with my lace I don't have any bling on here except for this sequin on the side on the sides of it and I'm gonna put bows across here I went ahead and started the bows because I didn't want to forget what I was gonna do up here yes yeah, so 
that's another one I have some lace um don't ask me where I get my lace because oh I collected lace for quite a while and I quit collected it from so many different places and this is a blue one that I started again I have the lace up here um, I made some pom-poms and put them on there I have some flowers and some little of my little ro my ombre roses and that's the back and I am not decorating my back I want to have a front so I'll decorate it like that and I just won't do anything to the the back side of it yeah and then I have a purple one and something said flowers put some flowers on there so I started this one and as you can see I haven't finished it but yeah I did start that one so I will yes so next weekend I'm thinking because I'm still waiting for the paper that uh, Miss Donna used I'm waiting for that paper and it should be here Thursday I think so I'll be able to make a few more using that paper she used now this one I started I haven't finished it because I have a lot of stuff just sitting around I did take this tassel and I put it on here it's just hanging on here because I figured whomever and I purchased these a while back I have blue ones and white ones like this I think I could use them on a couple of these too um Oh gosh, I have different kinds, all different kinds of tassels, so I might pull those out and put them on here too. But this is a green one that I love this green color. And like I said, all of the paper that I have here so far is um, KN Company paper stacks. And I haven't finished this one. Um, let's see, I think this trim is a double gathered trim I think this is a cheap trims that LA craft stuff I think yeah so I use that and then this lace um, I think it's a two inch lace it may be from cheap trims it could be I'm not certain but yeah like I said I can't remember all of the elements that's on here but um yeah that's one that I made I just came up with different things that I made and then the thing that I'm experimenting with let me move all of these here so that you can see them and I will go ahead and put them back I'm just trying to show you give you some ideas because I'm not crafting anymore until um, I only craft on the weekends when I have time and here lately with work and everything and I only work, I work Tuesday through Friday. So, yeah, um, and I'm off every Monday. And today is Monday, and it didn't feel like it because everybody was off. Hello. But I was off Friday. So, yeah, this is the pin cushion that I made. And this is going to be my prototype because I squished it. Is that, how, is that a word? Squished? <laughs> yes, I actually have a center block. That I went to Lowe's. I purchased it probably about 10, 15 years ago. I put my books when I want to put cover something or make it firm. And when I use chipboard and stuff, I actually place my item underneath it so that it fuses it together. Yes, yeah, so I did that to it thinking it would attach to this cushion that I put in there because you know that cushion stuff and hot glue just doesn't work well you know these things right here I don't know if all of you know this years ago when wow when they start making embellishments specifically for scrapbooking we used to order um, not order buy little packages of eyelets and yeah and they used to come in containers that was on a block of this and they would stick them in there. Well, I just cut them. I just sliced them all up. And I probably still have lots more. And I cut these, this one right here. I, I just cut a bunch of them this size. But I cut this in half. Because this is how I used to do my little matchbooks and stuff. That When I did my, my pens, I'll actually take my match 
put these in a matchbook. Yes, yeah, so I took this and I cut it in half. And I fused it between the... I fused it between here. Let me see. I can show you like this. And you just stick the pen in there. Yeah. If you could see that. I just fused that in there. And you just take your pins and stick them in there. And this makes your pin cushion. I had quite a few ideas. I did another one. Um, but... It wasn't successful. I wanted to actually put the, um, the, what is that, polyfill in there and cover it with felt and then some lace, but I couldn't make it work and I kind of gave up because I didn't want to spend most of my day trying to get this in here. But what I did to make this, and as you can see, it's all crumbled up. Yeah, I crushed it. Um, I actually took this and cut it. Uh, cut the 12 by 12 sheet of paper by um, at 5 inches so you can make two of these using this one piece of paper. No. You still need two pieces of 5 by 5. I mean 5 by 12. Yes, yeah, so you could make one using that whole sheet of paper. So yeah, but you cut it at 5 inches and there you are, and I just took the pins and put it in there. So I'll do this over again. Like like I said, this will be something that I could use to look at. But you could even make these smaller than that and use them as a piece. It'll make your piece really heavy, though, to put in there. That, you know, without all the... You could make it a fan, really. But you can actually make this sm as small as you want. And <laughs> Marilyn, hey, Marilyn. <laughs> She had came. She had come over to the ch my channel and said, "Ooh, I see making these real small." And I said, "How did you think of, of that?" Because um, I was thinking pincushion. Because Donna, who is um, what's her name, Donna's Whimsical Treasures, yes, her channel. She actually made a pincushion, and I think she did it like this. I saw her video, but this weekend, I didn't have a chance to watch a bunch of videos, and I'll probably do that later on tonight before I call it a night. But, uh, yeah, I didn't have a chance to watch a bunch of videos, but I'm going to go watch some. Um, yesterday, I was able to comment on some of the comments that you all know. I think most of them, I just wanted to go ahead and get that out the way. But yes, this is the start of one. And I, I, I attached this little coffee cup. And these are the little cafe coffee cups that you get from Dollar Tree. I don't know, a few years back they had these at the Dollar Tree. And I just, matter of fact, I think I bought a case. Yeah, so, or two. Yeah, but because they make the greatest, the cutest little pincushion things. Do I have some over there done? But anyway, yes, yeah, so I decided to use that. And then these blocks, I don't know if you all know. I usually buy in bulk. If I see something, if it's a lot of it and I know I'll use it, I'll just buy a lot of it rather than trying to figure out. Because I know one day I'll use it some kind of way. Yeah, but these are, um, I think it's just a matter of, of, Pulling out your laces. That's what I did. I, I actually went to one of my stash drawers that had laces that, you know, uh, matter of fact, I didn't. Di I did not get to all of them, and I didn't do this one like that. This is the start of mine, and as you do them, they just get better. As you do them, they get better. There is, if somebody could tell me, there's some really soft. I think it's some baby lace are. Um, thread. It's not thread. Is what is this? Yeah, you know that you. It's real soft baby stuff, and when it looks fluffy when you make these, you can just or do you have to fluff them out? Cause I could do that with my. I have a tool that I use for wool blending. Can I use that on this and make these fluffy and smaller? I don't know how to make them teenier. 
I think I'm going to have to go to the store or either look at my rump. I have a few of these sizes. This is the smallest size that I have. And I want some tiny ones. Which I know how to make them. I know how to use the pom-poms and make these. So I might have to do that. But yeah, these are the friendly umbrellas. This was really, really a neat idea, Donna. And I'm having so much fun. These things will make the best the cutest mother day gifts or just sister gifts or even like they like she called them friend friendship umbrellas because you can put so many cute little things in there and they are so cute and the more i decorate it the more i say oh i know what i could do next but i'm really liking this one i don't know why the green but i'm seriously liking that yeah, so I'm going to try to get as many done as I could. You know the hardest part? It's easy to put it together. The hardest part is decorating them. Yeah, because it's like making a pocket letter. But guess what? I'm going to do all of them like I did my pocket letters. I'm going to do all that I want to do and then I'm done. Yeah, I got to get it out of my system because right now I'm so loving them. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down in the um, in the box below. And, um, yeah, I'll get back with you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you all had a nice weekend. I think I said that, um, but I hope you did. <laughs> and I'll see you next weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.